Tis a vile thing to die when a man is unprepared and looks not for it. So wrote William Shakespeare, surrounded by death, plague, dysentery, typhoid, all things in our past, and yet death still finds us unprepared. As a child of media and movies with a hyper real experience of gunfights, monsters, and pandemics, I always assumed the things to be scared of were out there, that we died from factors external war, the hand of others, the violence of nature, redback spiders. So I was very surprised to learn just how wrong I was.、Uh, in the most recently released data, The top 10 killers account for over a half of all deaths in Australia. The top 20, over two thirds. I work every day with Australia's killers. So here are our, most, our 20 most unwanted. Number 19, thanks to a bottle of brandy a day,、uh, perhaps our most eagerly self inflicted death cirrhosis of the liver.、Uh, we are the lucky country, but with an ageing population, Uh, this one is the fastest riser, 38th 10 years ago and 18th now. And if alcoholic cirrhosis of the liver isn't our favourite, then surely melanoma is. Why else do we still see people going like fools and English backpackers unprotected into the midday sun? <laughs> Sadly, 15th biggest killer of us is ourselves, and between the ages of 14 and 40, the single biggest cause of death. The only external factors to make it into the top 20 are infections of the lung. And though here we fear most influenza, it's really pneumonia that is the biggest killer. The big C. Combined, accounting for more deaths than anything else. But research tells us that cancers are not all the same. Still holding place at number 10, kidney disease. Our best hope for a better outcome with this is for Australians to be better at being organ donors. From our first world love of indulgence, fat, sugar, and alcohol. Emphysema is only one of the killers in this group. Still at number four and showing no sign of waning, and yet our legacy is going to be much better than those countries where tobacco still exists with very little regulation. Again, an ageing population. Researchers working furiously to understand this disease, some fear we may really never cure it. Now, you might have noticed that I've missed some numbers, and that's because these, although recorded separately, are the result of one cause. This is a healthy artery. This unhealthy artery is clogged with fat, causing heart attack, stroke, and heart failure. Cardiovascular disease accounts for over a quarter of all deaths, and surgeons are finding it in children as young as 10 in Sydney. So, in the words of the master of war, Sun Tzu, know your enemy and you will be undefeated. <laughs> Now you know your enemy. How will you prepare? Thank you. <laughs>